The situation in the commodity market is getting worse. Yesterday, the European Union once again stated that it would not pay for Russian gas in rubles. Almost immediately, Russian President Vladimir Putin noted that several Western banks had delayed payment for Russian oil and gas supplies. He added uh, that Russia would suspend deliveries if banks keep uh, withholding the transfer of payments. Traders are deeply concerned that Russia will completely cut off supplies to Europe. It will inevitably lead to an energy crunch in the region. Oil prices climbed above $110 per barrel amid market uncertainty. If tensions do not ease, prices will reach new highs. However, it will not occur today or on Monday, as trading floors in Europe and America are closed on the occasion of Good Friday. So there are no major market players in the market today. After a short-term pullback, Brent crude futures managed to resume an upward movement. They broke above $110 per barrel. There was also an increase in the volume of long positions. Given a strong bullish momentum, analysts suppose that Brent crude could maintain its winning streak in the long term. It's uh, also expected to rise to $115 and $122 per barrel. When trading oil, keep in mind that their current upward movement may be halted by a correction. This is why it's better to price in temporary price retreats following the example of the current situation. Gold is also trading sluggishly amid the absence of the European Union and the US traders. Now, gold prices are consolidating above $1,970 per three ounces. However, gold is highly likely to climb higher after the holiday as market uncertainty intensifies. Currently, the quotes uh, are trading steadily above the previously broken sideways channel. It means that speculators are willing to increase the volume of long positions. Bulls need to push the price above the target level of $2,000. If the gold prices consolidate above this level, traders are sure to open new long positions. Forex is a trading calmly. The Russian currency is settling near 80 against the US dollar. We recently discussed the possibility of a gradual correction due to the overbought status of the ruble. However, next week the ruble may begin to strengthen again. It's likely to advance amid woes in the commodity market and rising energy prices. However, the situation may change if the European Union pays for oil and gas supplies over the weekend. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.